welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they happen and together we can support our great leader Mazin Namdekano, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality and put the Fulani Janjawi to shame. He said, Fulani Nigerian soldiers and their terrorist Fulani bandits attacked and raised houses in the Nimbise local government area of Imo State. They have now lamented that they had to disguise as armed hoodlums but they were lucky to have escaped alive. The Fulani Nigerian terrorist soldiers want Buhari to forget Biafra and focus on overrunning Hausa and Northern minorities' ancestral lands only as they already occupied the Southwest Forest. The Fulani terrorists argue that Biafrans have made up their minds and this is not like the 1967 to 1970, where Fulani Janjaweed used other tribes and the international community against Biafran, and they prevailed. My brothers and my sisters, but they have failed this time around, and one a Fulefu, interim chairman of the local government, was trying to cover up for the Nigerian terrorist army claiming that it was the police that came to, to attack the Imo community. That is a big lie. According to reports, it was reported that armed Nigerian security agents, Nigerian Fulani soldiers, reportedly raised residential houses belonging to one Sonny Val and Chinonso Madu, siblings of Mr. Uche Madu, who is alleged to be a member of Eastern Security Network in Umo Onyoka community in Ihete Afouku Ahiazu, in Nimbise local government area of Imo State. The security operatives stormed the area in seven cars, shooting sporadically heading to Uche Madu's compound. Similarly, this is how the Fulani terrorist bandits operate. If you look at the way they operate in the north, the same way these Nigerian terrorist soldiers are operating the same way. A community source who pleaded anonymity said that the Fulani Nigerian terrorist soldiers came to apprehend Mr. Uche Mado and when they could not get him, all hell was let loose and they allegedly descended on the country home of his siblings, Sonny Val and Chinonso Mado, which they set ablaze without allowing even a single pain to be evacuated from the building. Another resident, Emeka Obasi, said while he does not condone any indigent of Ihete Afoku land to be involved with any unlawful acts or criminal activities, it is still pertinent to state that the invasion and arson perpetrated in their land is highly commendable or condemnable and ill-advised. Because even in the north, where the Fulani terrorists are causing havoc, their communities don't get this kind of invasion by the Nigerian security agents, talk less of burning their homes. In an era where security matters and investigations are handled and unraveled by intelligence gathering, the resort to arson by supposed 
law enforcement agent can best be described as an affront and highly unlawful. Nigerian security agents are terrorists in military uniform. And I blame the Supreme Court Administrator of Imo State, who places on danger for allowing this to happen in Imo State. In recent times, Imo State have continued to make screaming headlines in both local and international media for wrong reason, because of hopelessness or danger. It is therefore incumbent on the Supreme Court Administrator, hopelessness or danger, who is also the Chief Security Officer of the state, to rise up to the challenge and ensure that such incidents like the one that happened in the NBC invasion that exposed the security volatility of the state are nipped in the board. But hopeless Uzo Danger is a Fulani Meyetiala stooge and slave. And he is happy that he is pleasing his Fulani slave masters because they allow him to loot Imo State dry. That's his compensation. They allow him to loot. You know? And that is why once a criminal like hopeless Uzo Danger he will always be a criminal. About 22 persons have been reportedly killed and 67 others kidnapped in different attacks by suspected Fulani terrorists in communities in Kasena, Zamfara, and Kaduna states. An official of Kasena State Emergency Management Agency Shamsu Yakubu revealed that the Fulani terrorists killed 12 persons and abducted 38 others. He also revealed that the Fulani terrorists burnt no fewer than 35 shops, 11 houses, and 6 vehicles. You can correlate it now. What they did in NBC, this is exactly what their Fulani terrorists counterparts are doing to the Hausa and Northern minorities. That is exactly what the Fulani Nigerian government, they want it to happen in Biafra land. But Eastern Security Network is not giving them the opportunity to do so. You know, they attack innocent Biafrans out of frustration because they thought that the same thing the Fulani terrorists are doing in the Rattan states against the Hausa and Northern minority communities, Buhari expected that the same thing should be happening in Biafra land. And that is why hopeless who's or danger is helping them to achieve that. Because any time Fulani Janjaweed burn Biafran homes, houses, businesses, and kill Biafran youths, Buhari is always happy. He's always happy. You know, the Fulani Janjaweed have made sure that all the so-called repentant Boko Haram and Fulani terrorist bandits have been, you know, hired into the Nigerian military and they are the ones committing the atrocities that Hopeless Uso Jinjo is using against Biafras. But he has failed because Biafra shall be free, and there is nothing hopeless who's on danger and other Biafra Efulefus, Fulani slave masters. There is nothing they can do to stop Biafra freedom. There is nothing. If they like, let them continue. But surely one day they will all pay for their sins. They will face judgment. 
they will face judgment because Biafra is a spirit. And nobody can stop the movement of a spirit. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for supporting Biafran struggle and restoration and freedom. Thank you for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.